What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. Of course, the WWDC keynote is now history. iOS 8 was revealed in all its glory. So was OS 10 Yosemite. And iOS 8 is now available for download for developers. If you're a developer, you can go out to Apple's developer website, download iOS 8, and install it just like any other firmware. And I am doing so right now on my device. I want to show you what it's like to install iOS 8 for the first time, and I'm going to show you right now. And it's pretty much exactly like any other version of iOS. If you've ever installed firmware from scratch uh, using iTunes, you know exactly what it's like to install iOS 8. So we're going to just sit through this it's going to be a quick video just to show you what it's like to install it and um yeah it's really exciting like the keynote was so exciting i think apple knocked it out of the park with a home run definitely like i don't think anyone has many negative things to say at all in fact i think everyone was pleasantly surprised about what was unveiled uh, at wwdc's keynote um just so many different things interact communication you have uh, searches in photos, you have iCloud photo syncing, you have third-party keyboards, which is absolutely amazing. I'm so, so excited about. Uh, there's just a plethora of other stuff. Best believe we will be cover covering it all in iDownload blog. Sorry for the shaky cam here. I'm in a, a hotel in Kyoto, Japan right now bringing this to you, and it is like five in the morning right now. Um, so, yeah, needless to say, it's not the normal... Uh, setup that we have going on here, but that's okay. I wanted to show you what it's like to go ahead and install iOS 8 from scratch, and that's what I'm doing right now. So you can see the setup process is very, very familiar. It looks just like iOS 7 pretty much, almost to a T. Um, and you're going to see once we get to the home screen, it looks fairly familiar as well from a home screen perspective. There is different wallpaper, of course. There are a few new apps, stock applications, of course. Uh, but the overall look and, and feel of the initial, like the first impression you get once it goes to the home screen is very iOS 7-like, which is not a bad thing. Um, and you're gonna see that here in just a second. So I'm just setting this up as quickly as I can, get started, and there you go. The first thing I noticed, though, is just how responsive apps are. Like, everything is just so quick on a iOS 8 here. And you can see the new health app, and you can see the bug reporter app. Of course, that won't be on the final version of iOS 8. But for developers, you're going to want to report those bugs that you find. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is iOS 8 in all its glory. We'll have more coverage, of course, on iDownload blog. So stay tuned to that. And let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.